So last night was a little bit of a late night. Sydney here started cutting teeth. So we got a little bit something fun planned today. today that's right today I'm in front of my green screen and that is because we have something a little different planned today that's right but before we get started let me just do a couple of quick reminders so the first one is Saturday we will be going live 4 30 p.m. Central for all of my cloud insiders at 5 o'clock p.m. Central time for everyone else and we're going to be doing a would you rather Halloween edition or trying to come up with that we'll see how that goes and then we also have choose your adventure part two coming up on Sunday and that ought to be fun it's the road and did you guys send Rebecca down the road? Ooh, I'm excited to find out. And then Monday, we are definitely doing just another Maddie Monday. And that is going to be all about leaves. So you just do with however creative you want to get with leaves. That is what we are doing this week. So, and we also got Switch Em Up Saturday. And Switch Em Up Saturday this week is hosted by Bianca. That's right, Bianca is going to be doing all of the Switch Em Up Saturdays for the month of October. That's right. So, I'm going to try to put some spooky little um, Halloween um, backdrops be behind me. But the reason I'm in front of a green screen is, like I said, poor Sydney here. Yes, we was up late. As you guys see, I dressed her in a cute Halloween outfit. I put a little black bow on her to match her pajamas. And look, you guys. I pierced her ears last night. That's right. Sydney now has pierced ears. But she didn't sleep too good because she started teething. She's actually a good baby when she's teething. She's not crying or anything that much. But mommy had to stay up a little late with her last night. So I have got something very fun planned for us today. And I wrote a story. That's right. I wrote a little Halloween story for Sydney and it helped calm Sydney down. And so I thought, well, Sydney really liked it. Maybe you guys would enjoy hearing the little story that I created to tell my cloud kids when they don't feel good around Halloween time. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get into our story time. So today's story is going to take us all the way to Boo Town, where Bonnie Boo lives with her Boo Mommy and Boo Daddy. And well, today in the town of Boo, there is a big festival going on. And all the ghosts and monster monsters get together and go to this annual Halloween festival. At this Halloween festival, there's... Ferris wheels, there's games, there's all kinds of stuff that you could do all Halloween related. And there's lots of different contests that you could enter. And if you enter a contest, then you could go ahead and enter the festival without pay. And so, so Bonnie Boo was so excited to go to the festival. She had been working on her painting all year. And she was entering it in this year's Scary Boo Picture Contest. Photo Contest. First place was a pretty blue ribbon. She left her house waving goodbye to Boo Mommy and Boo Daddy with her picture she was so proud of. Just floating right along, heading off to the Halloween Festival. That's right. She was so excited to show off her picture. She worked so hard on it. As she, was, as she was walking along the sidewalk, she noticed a little vampling under a tree, and he was crying. And she wondered, oh no, she thought, what could be wrong with him? So she hurried over to the, to the tree to talk to the vampling. She floated over and asked the little vampling, why are you crying? The vampling sniffed 
and said, I want to go to the festival, but I don't have any money. And I don't have anything to enter the contest, but I really want to go. I've never got to go before. Bonnie looked at her picture and thought about it. Boo Mommy and Boo Daddy did raise Bonnie right. She smiled and she smiled and handed the vampling her picture and said, Here, use my picture. I go every year. I've seen it before. It's okay. You can take my picture and you can go. The vampling took the picture and smiled and dried his tears and jumped up and down and said, Thank you, thank you, as he hugged Bonnie and turned into a bat and flew towards the festival. Bonnie smiled as she watched him fly away to the festival. It felt good to do something nice for somebody. And I can always go next year, she thought, as she floated home, although a little sad, wishing she knew how her picture did in the contest. When she got home, Boo Mom and Boo Dad asked her, why are you home so early, Bonnie? When she told them what she did, they hugged her and they were so proud of her that they threw her a Halloween party just so that she could feel special. All of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. Boo Dad left to answer it. He poked his head back into the room and he said, Bonnie, there's somebody here to see you. Standing at the door, was the little vampling and his vamp mom and his vamp dad. And he was holding Bonnie's picture with a pretty blue ribbon on it. Yes, Sydney, did you hear? She won a blue ribbon. She smiled and said, you won. And he shook his head and said, no, you won, Bonnie. And handed Bonnie her picture back, then hugged her and said, thank you. All the, the Boo Mommy, the Vamp and Mommy, the Boo Daddy and the Vamp Daddy was so touched by the two little monsters that the family invited the Vamp, vamp family to come on in and have fun at their Halloween party. Barney Boo and Vinnie Vamp, she found out was his name, danced as Vinnie told Bonnie that everybody at the contest thought her picture was the best in the town. Bonnie was so excited and she was so happy that she made a new little friend. And so, from that day forward, Vinnie Vamp and Bonnie Boo was inseparable best friends. They became, they were best friends for life and they did everything together so many adventures but then again that's another story to tell so i hope you guys enjoyed our little story that we created about the little ghost and the little vampling sydney really enjoyed listening to it last night and well I thought, why not create a little story, make it into a little story. So that's what I did. So I hope you guys just enjoyed. It's not a very long video today, but I wanted to show, like I said, Sydney, how cute she looks now with her pierced ears and how good she did there her teething. Yes, she's doing so good. So if you like this video, then go on down there and give us that big thumbs up. And well, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And while me and all of my cloud kids, we really love you guys. So until the next video, everybody. Bye. Let me tell you about